Last night, the Golden State Warriors won big by a score of 133 to 110 at Houston. And that was a big game as the Rockets were on their heels fighting for that final play-in spot in the West. It's all but settled now. The Warriors will be in the play-in. They're in Dallas tonight. And is this a letdown spot? Well, we're going to talk about it. But before we do, i got to remind you about the promo we have available at wagertalk and sportsmemo.com. Using the promo code JS3DAY, as you can see below, that'll get you three days, all access, all sports, from myself over at Sports Memo. And why would you be interested in that? Well, we're 15-5 and five overall the last seven days. That's number one. Number one the last seven days. Number one the last 100 days. Number one the last 365 days. Last 500 days. Last 750 days. I'd like to tell you it was the last thousand days, but currently sitting number two over the last thousand days, and we're working on remedying that. Uh, we'll check back in about a week's time and see how that's going. But the point being, uh, we're delivering the winners over at Sports Memo, and you can get in on the action for only 29 bucks. So use that promo code and come see me. All right, let's talk about the Golden State Warriors off that massive win last night. They're in Dallas. The Mavs are a five-point favorite. The total sits at 228. Um, the Warriors now uh, have a four-game cushion for that final play-in spot, so they have a little bit of breathing room. I certainly think this is a letdown spot. They've won six straight games. This will be not just the second game of a back-to-back, -back, but a third game in four nights. Uh, one of those games was a 104-100 win at home against the Dallas Mavericks on Tuesday. So also, in addition to the letdown, we have a revenge angle for the Mavs. And the Mavs are 12-2 and in their last 14 overall. Dallas still has plenty to play for. Despite going 12-2, and uh, they're only one game ahead of the seventh-place New Orleans Pelicans, which means they haven't, uh, they haven't guaranteed them, themselves uh, – staying clear of the play in either they they could uh, catch the uh, la clippers for the fourth spot which would give them home court advantage in a first round playoff series so still plenty to play for for the dallas mavericks and i expect them to be the healthier of the two teams here uh, let's talk about steve kerr and it was about a week ago now that he was criticized for benching steph curry in what was considered to be a must win game I've got a quote from Kerr here. He says, uh, we are trying to keep him uh, around 30 minutes, get him as much rest as we can. He played 35 minutes two days ago. We want to limit the minutes, not limit the minutes, but not overplay him. Uh, these last few weeks have been really tough on him, and we've been placing the burden of the entire franchise on his shoulder for 15 years. And that was Curry's response, or sorry, Kerr's response to criticism for limiting Curry's minutes in big games. I think Steve's, Steve Kerr is telling you everything you need to know here. Second game of a back-to-back, -back, third game in four nights. Warriors haven't officially clinched a play-in spot, but for all intents and purposes, they're pretty safe at the moment. I'd be surprised if Curry sees the court for any extended time here. Uh, I think your Curry uh, performance props unders are good bets tonight. But what I'm going to look at is the Warriors team total under 111 and a half. Let's see if we can actually fix that. All right. The Warriors team total under 111 and a half. I think uh, the Warriors will be resting their starters, limiting the minutes for key players. This is a wave the white flag game for Golden State uh, in this situation. So, that is the play. If you like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. If you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. Get back to you as soon as I can. Good luck. We'll see you again tomorrow.